Hey there, welcome to our beginner guide for V-Ray for Rhino. Today, we're going to cover how to create your first photorealistic materials with V-Ray. If you want to follow along, go ahead and download the project files from the link in the description. First, we need to open the asset editor and enable denoising calculation from the denoiser panel. Essentially, the denoiser smooths out the image as a separate but simultaneous part of the rendering process. Most of the time, we'll be using interactive rendering, also known as IPR. There are different options for denoising. Some are accurate but slow, and some are fast but less precise, depending on whether you use NVIDIA GPU or CPU. Next, tweak the effect rate so that all post effects such as denoiser, lens effects, sharpness, and blur will kick in rapidly. Increase the resolution so that we can observe the materials closely. And finally, toggle on override materials to focus only on our shaders. Now let's start the IPR. The first material we'll create is the stucco for the wall. Draw a region to focus our rendering on this area. Then pick the wall and click on the Edit Material button. Open the right flyout menu to see the material parameters. If you want a new material, just right click over the material icon in the asset editor. We'll use the V-Ray generic material for all of our materials. The V-Ray material is layer based and can simulate a huge variety of surfaces from plastic to metal to glass and more. Plus, with V-Ray materials, you can add different texture maps to control reflections, refractions, bump, displacement, and translucency as well as different coating layers. To change the color of a material, first change the diffuse color. Then, adjust the reflection color to control how intense the reflection is. A darker color means less reflection, and a brighter color means more. Glossiness controls how sharp the reflections will be. To create blurred reflections, lower this value. The Fresnel controls the strength depending on the viewing angle. The IOR controls the way reflection is distributed when it hits the surface. Now let's use a texture instead of a simple color for a reflection. Another parameter is the bump. It has different modes for generic or normal bump maps. Apply a texture and decrease the strength. If we want to blend between the color and texture, we can use multipliers. From the advanced and height menu, we have some more options. If we want to blend between a color and a texture, we can use multiplier settings. When the multiply mode is selected, the multiplier slider is multiplying the map effect. Remember to keep your project organized by properly naming your bitmaps. Next, let's go to the statue and create a metal material. Nothing happens when we use the Edit Material button. This is because we need to convert this native Rhino material into a V-Ray compatible one. Another way to organize the materials is using tags. Now let's use the metalness parameter. If you're not sure how to use this, check out our informative blog post on the subject. Let's set the aluminum shader parameters. Change the diffuse color and next the reflection color, turn on metalness, use roughness, and set the IOR. All the settings are based on the values given in the table from the article we saw before. Now, let's create a glass material. Start by setting the diffuse color to black and then adjust the reflection and refraction to white. The color of the glass will be controlled from the fog parameter. The depth value controls the strength of the effect. Lower values produce a more intense effect and higher values will be more narrow. Next up, we're making translucent plastic. Just like before, set the diffuse color and blurry reflections. Enable refraction and set fog color. Instead of using refraction color, we'll use fog color. When we use a reflection color, we'll get a uniform color across the surface. But if we use fog, it creates a depth effect. Areas that are thinner will show less color, while thicker areas will have a more intense appearance. To make the plastic translucent, enable volumetric translucency. If you want to add reflective coating, enable the coating option and set the amount and the blurry reflections. Our final material is fabric. Set the color and enable blurry reflection for a soft shine effect. Keep in mind that using reflections for all fabric types is rarely needed. That depends on the fabric reflection which might be needed. For a softer shine on the fabric, use the sheen parameter from the advanced settings and set the shine color. If creating materials from scratch sounds daunting, you can use Chaos Cosmos. It's a free library of 3D assets. Just go to Materials, find the fabric category, pick a material, download and import it. See the material hierarchy. To tweak the material appearance, Wrap the diffuse texture to a color correction map 
and change the color and saturation. If you have already downloaded the material you want, you can use Triplanar Map in case the object has bad or even no UVs. Just drag and drop it from Cosmos into Rhino Viewport. You've just learned how to create various types of materials. Remember to check out our other videos from the onboarding series or visit our blog for more tips. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. See you soon. Thank you.